Hello folks, so we are still trying to figure out that why do I get this uh, band diagram uh, in uh, semiconductors where I have these uh, set of energy levels which have a continuous uh, density of states or which you know which can uh, allow carriers and uh, then I have this forbidden region or I have this uh, set of energies where I uh, don't have where I cannot have carriers or it's also called as a band gap so in the last video i used uh, a very simple bond model to derive uh, to you know give you some intuition where this uh, come from what i want to do in this video is to use uh, some very basic uh, quantum mechanics and in particular i want to use this uh, formalism called as the chronic benny model to explain where the band structure comes from so let's start with you know again the very basics so we know that uh, i'm sure all of you know about uh, de broglie equation which says that you know for any particle uh, or you know for any object it could be either be described as a particle or it could be described uh, as a wave and what he said was that you know for any particle with a momentum uh, p you essentially have a wavelength lambda which is given by this relationship so or if you have a wave with the wavelength lambda then its momentum is given by p equal to h by lambda uh, where h is this uh, planck constant or you could i could you know further expand on it and i could also write this as h bar where h bar is h divided by 2 pi and you know multiplied by 2 pi by lambda or you know I, this is 2 pi by lambda is also known as the k vector or you know inverse of your wavelength and i could write this as h k so my momentum could be you know then written by this uh, h cross into k and then energy is uh, nothing but uh, for a at least for a free particle it could be written as you know your uh, half mv square or equivalently written as p square by uh, 2m and uh, again using this relation where p equal to hk i could write it as you know h square k square by 2m or I get this parabolic uh, relationship which some of you might have seen earlier which say that you know for a free particle or you know for a particle which is not bound by any potential you get this uh, EK relationship which uh, looks like a parabola. So over here this is this relationship where E is equal to H square K square by 2M. So what I'm interested in now is that uh, for a potential that uh, I see in my uh, in my lattice that is if I have atoms which are uh, arranged uh, in a periodic uh, manner so I have these uh, nuclei of silicon let's say silicon over here which are uh, arranged uh, in this uh, periodic uh, manner so I know that the, you know the potential it looks around each of atom looks something like this so you have a large uh, infinitely large negative potential near your uh, nuclei so you know it it has this form of 1 over r and so it looks uh, uh, something like this where each of these potential around your nuclei would be something like this and then this is from the next nuclei so overall my potential looks something like this if i have a periodic uh, set of uh, atoms and uh, what uh, chronic penny what they did in this uh, paper they published uh, all the way back in 1930 is that you know they made some uh, approximation that you know instead of treating it like this i could you know simply uh, treat my potential as a series of steps and that was you know actually the only assumption they made so instead of uh, treating it like this i could treat it like that or i could actually treat it uh, you know as a set of uh, delta functions so where there's a nuclei there's a delta function which occurs in terms of potential and i could approximate my uh, potential uh, like that so the 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 condition this is known as the chronic uh, penny model that you know instead of having this uh, um you know a more uh, um uh, 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 a dependence of potential which is you know like over 1 over r I could approximate as these series of uh, wells and that is uh, what is known as the chronic pony uh, model 
and then the other uh, uh, other uh, other uh, boundary condition or you know other condition that i get is that if i have this potential which i can write as uh, ux so because these uh, atoms are periodic in nature this potential now is uh, at a distance u of x plus a will be the same as this potential at x that this simply comes from this periodicity of uh, my atom so if i have a point over here and I have a point over here they essentially will have uh, this uh, same potential so just you know making these uh, two simple uh, uh, using these uh, two simple uh, equations now let's uh, let's see how this translates into our schrodinger uh, equation so what i have written over here is this uh, time independent uh, schrodinger equation which i'm sure again some many of you might remember from your high school class it relates this uh, hamiltonian function h to the energy and phi is my uh, essentially my wave function and you know i could substitute uh, for this hamiltonian and this essentially results uh, in this uh, form and uh, my uh, essentially wave function is uh, related to the uh, to the second derivative and the potential energy ux and this is uh, related to the overall energy of my uh, wave function so what i do now is that you know i look you know how how will this change if i have uh, this uh, periodic uh, potential so what i have over here is essentially uh, this uh, periodic potential which i have assumed which uh, looks uh, something like this so uh, what i have over here is uh, you know my potential i can assume that within this region that is you know between zero and a i have a potential of uh, zero and then it suddenly shoots up to an infinite value at the boundaries so what i can um, do now is you know substitute uh, u to be zero between uh, this uh, range of uh, uh, range of x points and then i can rearrange this equation such that uh, this has this uh, simplified form and uh, again you know from simple uh, wave uh, mechanics or you know from simple algebra that you know if we have a differential equation like this which is a uh, square uh, you know, which is the second order differential and you have uh, this uh, constant over here. So the solution of this kind of a differential equation is uh, it could be given by uh, this form where, uh, you know, your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your solution or your wave function is, you know, essentially a composite uh, of, uh, uh, of these uh, of uh, sine and cosine function and you know the only job i'm left to do is you know find this uh, coefficient uh, a and b and you know i'll use some boundary conditions uh, to find these uh, coefficients uh, a and b what i have uh, so what i have in uh, in my case is that i have this uh, uh, so this was you know assuming this uh, just this uh, small region where between uh, between this uh, x values of uh, 0 and a what i have over here is you know i have this periodicity in my potential so from my block theorem that i just stated what i can get is that uh, my potential is now uh, periodic and it has this uh, period a so that enforces that my uh, wave function also needs to you know show some uh, at least the square of the wave function which is related uh, to the probability that has to be a periodic so you know the generic solutions of this kind of uh, boundary conditions are uh, essentially uh, solutions which uh, look like this where uh, you could describe your uh, wave function by uh, this uh, uh, phi k where it's related to this uh, another uh, function which is a small u k and then it's related to this uh, uh, exponent which is e to power minus uh, k x and uh, what is special is that this uh, this other function which is i've written as small u of k it also has a periodicity of uh, of my lattice constant so this u of x plus a is again uh, u plus uh, u of uh, kx so these are the generic uh, set of solutions which uh, satisfy this uh, uh, boundary condition in my potential and now i see that you know my uh, my uh, phi k at a or my wave function at a, you know at a distance of x plus a could be now would be now given by u uh, k of x plus a and e to power 
minus p to power uh, k x plus a and uh, you know since my uh, since this function has a periodicity of uh, of a it could be you know i could rearrange this term and essentially what it, i will get is phi k x into e to power uh, e to power k and again i see that you know if i have this kind of uh, functional dependence what i can see is that if i take the if i take the probability which is uh, this i see that my probability is uh, uh, is the same as at at uh, at uh, x plus a as it was at uh, my uh, point uh, x